Good evening. Tonight we are going to have a look at my squash projects number one. The row in front of us is small fruited Kirkabita Maximus, which is the buttercup curie type squashes. The last three or four years I have been growing primarily Burgess strained buttercup, which is a pretty good variety, but I have been somewhat disappointed in the keeping ability of that variety. In an attempt to find varieties that tasted as good and kept longer, this year I added Banquet and Anna Swartz Hubbard, both from Seed Savers Exchange. Both are also small fruited Maxima type winter squashes. This year has been a terrible year for the Maxima squashes. They are marginal in our climate. It's too hot and too humid here. Our disease and pest pressures are extreme and we had a very mild winter last year and a hot wet summer. The Anna Swartz Hubbard completely died. I had thought that the banquet died, but actually the banquet have bounced back. The squash right in front of us is a banquet, which is a small orange, supposedly long keeping one, uh, developed somewhere in the Northern Plains. Uh, we'll take a walk down this row and I will explain what's happening. The vast majority of the Maxima squashes die. There should be banquets there and they have died. Squash there is a cross between Aracara, which is a High Plains Native American variety with excellent boar resistance, disease resistance, and vigor. Uh, it's not really the best eating quality, but it is a good keeper. I've crossed that with several other Maximas to try to get some of their good traits. This one is doing okay. It's not doing great. All of the Anna Swartz Hubbard plants died rather promptly. I have a few Burgess Buttercup plants left. What it looks like here is that I will probably get one or two mature fruits from one or two plants that have survived. The larger, most vigorous plant is actually a Aracara cross, although some of the Aracara crosses died as well. This sort of fruit is definitely the type that an aracara would make, although as you can see the vine is rapidly vines rapidly dying, so I don't know if we can get a good mature fruit, but if we can get seeds, we might go forward with that. And this is the best vine. Uh, this vine is still healthy. It's got a decent sized buttercup squash on it, and it's crawling out over across the eggplant row and into the okra patch. So this is disappointing in the fact that our small fruited Maximas are going to produce almost nothing worth eating this year. However, it's been a tremendous year for selecting plants. Any plants that survive this year have the strongest, most resistant genetics, and although I'm sad we won't get any good breeding stock, any good eating squash this year to speak of, there have been years when we've gotten literally wheelbarrows full of small maximas out of a 50 foot row like this one. I will get some good seed that hopefully we can use to breed some 
stronger plants in the future.